Hey everybody, Sometimes Pops here, and uh, I thought that today I would do a quick video to go through some of my recent pickups. Also, I'm going to unbox a, a pop or two for you, and uh, we're going to start with this guy here. This is Marvel, the hip-hop covers. As you can see on the front, this is T'Challa, Black Panther, play on Jay-Z, Black Album. Uh, I bought this because it was on clearance for like $7, and... and in my uh, experience, to get a nice art book like this for seven bucks, that's a good deal. I, I love the comic book style art. So all of these, the whole idea of this is that all of these artists got together for these these great artists got together and they did these basically hip hop album covers. So I'll try to find the my favorite one and show you. It's actually for Nas's um, Illmatic and. They did a play on, well, I won't tell you, I'll keep you in suspense, but it's very cool, and um, like here's one for Wu-Tang Clan, for uh, Supreme Squadron, or Squadron Supreme, it says Enter the Squad, and it's got all the members there, so that was, that was a pretty cool one, and let's see. This is my favorite, the Nas Illmatic Miles Morales. There's the concept art piece. To your right and to your left is the Miles Morales cover. It's got New York City in the background to play on the album cover for Nas. It's super cool. So anyway, yeah, check that out. That's the uh, hip hop covers, Marvel. Um, really neat on the cover. You can see Notorious B.I.G. That turned into notori the, what does it say? The Astonishing Ant. The Astonishing Ant, ready to shrink. <laughs> so anyway, last but not least, we'll go through some of the recent pickups. So I was able to grab this from FYE not too long ago. I did a video showing you. This is the PX Previews exclusive Rocket Raccoon. Um, limited to 25,000 pieces. So I had to go out and get the partner in crime to that pop, which is the Star Lord PX Previews, limited to 20,000 pieces, Comic Fest, Halloween, 2018, exclusive. Love this one because it's got the bright colors, the blue, it's got the dark navy top of the helmet, the gold kind of touches on the visor, etc. And uh, it's a nice looking pop. So yeah, those are the two that go with the set and um, I was able to snag both. This is like probably one of my favorite new ones that I've picked up, this, these, this two set. Um, I just like them, I like stylistically how they did them and uh, I like that they were kind of exclusive releases as well. So that's the PX Previews, Star Wars, and Rock Raccoon exclusives. So, as you guys saw in my Pop Hunt video um, that I posted last time, I was able to work out a trade for uh, an Ang from Last Airbender, Chase, Glow Chase, for a... Um, Captain Marvel chase, so I had already pre-ordered a couple of the other pops from Captain Marvel, and there they are. Yon Rog, which I believe is the character played by Jude Law, Kree character, and Captain Marvel common without the mask, so... I haven't decided. I mean, I guess now I have to go get the other couple because there's only a couple left in that set. So I might have to go grab those. Um, another one of my favorite additions recently is the Doctor Strange Marvel Collector Core exclusive. And the reason why I like this pop so much is because if you see the way it stands, I mean, this thing has a beautiful sparkle to it 
I like that it's kind of like that whole muted yellow with the sparkle. It really creates a different effect than what we're used to seeing. I'm sorry for the glare. Um, but yeah, really nice pop. And it's hard to tell from here, but the whole thing sits... I'll show you on the side. So the way that this stands up actually is on the magical cape. So the magical cape kind of just is hardened in place and wraps around. And he's in fact doing a yoga or astral projection type pose there. And uh, I like how they thought to incorporate the cape into the standing of the actual figurine. I thought that was very intelligent of them because the whole design is seamless then. It doesn't create a, a situation where they have to create a, a separate stand for the figurine um, that kind of takes you out of the fantasy, if you will. Um, it's nice where you can just put the figurine down on your shelf and display it without any assistance because then it really just uh, it, it creates a nicer piece in my opinion so anyway this is one of my favorite additions recently the whole thing the box is the box is really sharp now this one there's another one part of this series it's called sorry about the focus can't get that to focus for some reason there it goes so Doctor Strange Astral, which is this one. This is the one that I have. This is the one that is also really cool. And I, this was an exclusive, and I can't remember what it was exclusive to. Maybe Hot Topic or Box Launch? I can't remember, but this one's really neat, too. And uh, I'm going to look to pick that up. And you could tell that these are slightly different colors because they actually are slightly different colors um, in real life this this one is uh, this one here is a bit more it's a bit lighter and this one is obviously a little darker so anyway cool Doctor Strange pop next up we got the 2017 summer convention exclusive glow in the dark Negatron that's right, Negatron. So, um, Darkwing Duck was one of my favorite cartoons after school growing up. I used to watch this thing religiously and uh, just loved it, loved it, loved it. And it kind of always upset me that they, not upset me, but I, I don't know, it was intriguing that the bad person was, or the evil villain was um, basically just a negative version of the hero. I thought that was interesting. So it's almost like all the bad qualities of Darkwing Duck, and you got Negatron. How did they not get sued by uh, Transformers? That's what I want to know. Because, like, I used to talk about Negatron with my friends growing up, and they always used to be like, what do you mean, Transformers? Transformers? I'm like, no, Negatron from... Darkwing Duck, and they look at me and scratch their head like I got three eyeballs. Well, here he is, folks. Negatron. So next time I mention it, you know what the hell I'm talking about. But really cool pop. I like that one a lot. And uh, I like that I like that they made the sticker purple because then it just matches perfectly with the box. And it just creates a really nice look to it. Especially because the pop itself is black and white. So all those colors on the box really do pop. No pun intended. Um, next up, we're going to do an unboxing for y'all for the new Bleach character, Grim Jow, that I picked up the other day out of a mystery box. Part of the two character series. There's a, a Renji and a Grim Jow. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this for you guys today and, and show you the... Uh, the figurine, see what it looks like. So let's do that. Tomorrow I have um, a nice little shipment coming in of mystery boxes, so I'll be posting a new video shortly. Uh, really appreciate everybody's support. I'm up to 30 subscribers now, so thank you so much to everybody who's, who's checking me out. And I uh, really, really appreciate uh, the fact that people even take the time to look at some of the videos. So thank you very much, and uh, 
you know, really enjoy talking to other people in the pop community. Some of the people, the other channels have been very nice and uh, I've gotten involved in some of the live chats with them and um, they're really doing big things like Invalid, Dr. Applesauce, uh, Popcorn with Flicks, um, Jetta Patrol, uh, Sean Rhines, cool dude, uh, a lot of cool people out there. So thanks everybody for the support and um, here you go. This is the unboxing of Grimjaw. Grim Jow from Bleach. Really cool. Give you a close up. Really nice detail on the hair. I like how all the hair kind of meets in the back there. That's really cool. It's a cool pop. And then we got like the white, sort of half, sort of half, uh, okay. Okay. Okay, well, here's something that I certainly didn't notice before. It's got a hole in them. You could... You could see right through them. How freaking cool is that, dude? What's up? What's up? So, yeah. That's a really cool figurine. It has a hole in them. I didn't even see the freaking hole. That, that is so weird. That's the first one I've seen like that. That's really different. So he's got a hole in him. That's new. Love the little mandible piece on the side of his head. That's really cool. I like that a lot. The hair is great. Little eye makeup is cool. Sword. Yeah, you know, at first I was like, what is the big deal? I mean, I get the mandible. That is really cool. I love that about it. And the hair, obviously, on these anime pops are always really nice looking. See the detail there. But I'm looking at the figurine in the box, and I'm like, what? Not being familiar with Bleach, I didn't, I didn't know that he had that void in his stomach there. And you don't really notice it when it's in the box. And then you take it out, and you're like, you know, this is like a normal figurine. Big deal. He's kind of just standing there. He's got a little skirt on or whatever. And then you're like, wow, that really is different. They put a hole. They actually stayed true to the character, I guess. And they just put that hole right in the middle. And you can see, like, my wall right beyond that there. Man, that is that is different. That is really cool. I like that a lot. So that's Grim Jow from Bleach. Um, just released. Sorry about the focus. I don't know why it's not focusing. So, there's Grim Jow, just released, really, really, really nice looking pop, and uh, it's got a little bit of some paint issues on the front there, but just having that little, that little void in the stomach there is some completely new, I've never really seen them do that before, so, yeah, so that's Grim Jow, pretty cool. I'm going to look out for some of these other Bleach characters if they... If they do some unique things like this on them, I might look to try to maybe pick them up. But, uh... Can I put this right now? Oh, I think because I turned this off. So, there he is, Grim Joe. Going back in the box. What's in the box? So finally, I'm going to go through a couple other, this set that I've decided that I'm probably going to go for in the near future, and, uh, come on there. So finally, I'll go through these pops I just picked up, which, uh are the South Park superhero set. So, if you guys are a fan of South Park, you probably already know what I'm talking about, but, you know, one of the episodes, the kids all decide that they want to do, uh, 
that they were going to become basically superheroes and fight crime. So they came up with a bunch of wacky, hilarious uh, superhero names, a la South Park, as you would expect. So first we have Human Kite. That's right, folks. It's just his superpower is just having a giant kite attached to his back. That's pretty much it. You can see the kite there. I know it's kind of hard to see. But, uh, yeah. So, human kite. There he is. Very intimidating. Next up, we got Tool Shed, which is a derogatory name my friends and I used to call each other. Um, pretty funny. And his, his superpower, I guess, is just to grab the power tools from his dad's garage. Very intimidating. It's a little more intimidating than kite, human kite. And then, obviously, we have Mintberry Crunch, who gets an A-plus on his superhero costume, and a D-minus on his powers, which, as far as I know, um, he doesn't have any. So, not, I mean, he doesn't even have a weapon. So he's in trouble. But Mintberry Crunch, absolutely uh, style points for sure. Like, I, First of all, I was just saying this the other day to, to another collector. I love half-masked pops. Anything that has like a half-and-half half face, I always like that. I think it takes more production to put, to put into them and it's harder. And finally, we have the Coon, which is the uh, Cartman superhero. And this was... Um, 2017 summer exclusive along with Mintberry Crunch and I think Mysterion Mysterion is one that I want to get uh, for sure and I think I know I think I know where I'm going to get him so there's a comic book store near me that I think has him so I'm going to go grab him but yeah, I guess I, I guess these other ones are common, so I'll have to look into if they're hard to find or not. I think the Zombie Kenny and Ike might be hard to find, but I've seen the Cartman for sale. I haven't seen a lot of Butters around, but unfortunately I got this out of an eBay mystery box. We all know how we love those, and it came damaged. So, you know, I, I got decent value out of the mystery box, honestly, even with that, but... You know, the damage really is not cool. You know, that's not cool. I mean, if you're going to advertise a mystery box, don't send me a damage pop. Or at least say that they could be damaged. Or they could have shelf wear. They're in your collection. They might have creases. That's fine. But if I know about it and I buy it, that's on me. Or if you put it in the description and I didn't read it, that's also on me. So that's fine. But I didn't see anywhere where the guy said that the pops might be damaged. So just another story to add to the pile of eBay stories. Um... Another thing that I saw that was real sketchy on eBay was that the Majin Vegeta, I guess, came back out. There was like a restock. Everybody was complaining that a bunch of bots stole it off the uh, over9000.com website. Not stole it, but like a, bot, a bunch of bots like were able to get to buy them all before people could get them on the over9000 website. I don't know how true or untrue that is, but I did see a bunch of um, Majin Vegeta commons, not the autographed ones with over 9,000 stickers on them on sale on eBay for cheap right now for like 14, 15 bucks. A few of them going up to anywhere between like 25 and 30 for the unsigned one. And a few of them I noticed were the same seller and they're all coming from China. So I'm thinking stay away. I'm thinking they're, those are probably all fake even though they are the common version and they did have a restock recently. I still think it's, I still think it's a little bit sketchy. And I did go into a few of the reviews on eBay there to see what, you know, people that did buy them, like what they said. And I did see a couple comments that said, I think this is fake or this is fake. I know it's fake. Again, as always, buy at your own risk when you're doing things like mystery boxes, especially if you're going to try them on eBay. Don't expect to get something that is going to knock your socks off. I mean, if you get a pop that's in mint condition, it's probably going to be a common if you get an exclusive pop, in my experience, off eBay mystery boxes, 
I'm not saying it's all of them, but in my experience, like if you get a, a nicer pot, like for example, this one, it's like a $25 value, but I got it. I think I paid like 30, maybe 35 bucks. I got another pop with it, but this thing's not worth 25 now because of the crease in, in the dent in the back. Maybe, maybe 18 still because it's exclusive, but still like you're knocking off value off my pops before they even get in the door to my house, which, you know, I don't appreciate so anyway, guys, that's the big haul. I got uh, the superhero set for South Park. I got. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna start working on the Captain Marvel set. I don't know if I'm gonna um, complete that set necessarily. I'm, I have a subscription to the Marvel Collector Core, so I've been getting the movie moments, Thanos and Thor, for the last month, and um, uh, the Whiplash and Iron Man one from from two months before that. Um, People really like them. Uh, I like them a lot. If I don't like them, I'll just get rid of them um, and try to, you know, at least pay my money back for the box to somebody that wants the box. Um, but, you know, I enjoy getting a new pop exclusive in the mail every month, whether I like it or not. It's, uh, it's just fun for me to open. It's fun for me not to know what it is, and I enjoy it. So... You know, again, always take caution when, when getting into, you know, buying things like mystery boxes and buying things like subscription boxes because, you know, at least with the subscription box, you know, that's an ongoing obligation. You have an opportunity to cancel it, but as we all know, a lot of people forget to cancel things that they sign up for. So, you know, uh, you know just a word of caution if you're going to sign up to subscription boxes, make sure you keep track of your subscriptions. Make sure you know if they're going to increase the cost of those at all. And if they are, perhaps, you know, reevaluate whether you want those or not. Um, and as always, mystery boxes are a huge risk. They're a huge risk. They're, a lot of, mo most of the time that you get them, you're A, going to either end up with a pop that you have zero interest in or don't want, um, or B, not get your value back. So it's very rare that you're going to hit a home run on a mystery box. And what I mean by that is get a lot of value and a pop that you absolutely have been looking for forever or a personal grail of yours or, or whatever that may be. Um, so, yeah, as always, uh, thanks again for the support. Hit the like, subscribe button. I'm going to be posting uh, at least two mystery box videos uh, before the end of the week. I have Toy Tokyo and Chrono Toys. Uh, bunch of boxes coming in. So stay tuned, hit the like, subscribe, and thanks as always for the support. All right, guys, take care.